everybody! Today I want to show you how to make these easy string bracelets. video I wanted to combine three things that I enjoy so much and that is macrame, crocheting, and jewelry. I also wanted to come up with another Christmas gift idea that was easy, fun, and inexpensive. I have been working on my Christmas gift list and this is one of the things that I wanted to do to give away as Christmas gifts. Here is what you will need. Any size crochet hook. This is optional. I will explain more about that later. A measuring tape. A clipboard or clamp to hold your work down. And cotton string. I use peaches and cream. It comes in a variety of colors. Because my bracelet is made out of cotton string, when they get dirty, I could put them in the washing machine and wash them with a load of laundry. Let's get started. The only crochet stitch that we will be doing is the chain stitch. The first thing we do to start off our project is to make a loop knot and then put our crochet hook into the loop. Next we wrap our string over top of the hook and pull the string through the hoop. See how I use my right pointer finger to hold the loop? Then I dip the hook under the string in my left hand and hold my chain stitches with my left pointer and thumb. This makes it easy to hold your work steady. I make two chains for each bracelet. One is 12 inches and the other is 54 inches. This makes my bracelet about 9 inches long. You may have to adjust your chain length if you would like a different size bracelet. And you could even do this project if you don't have a crochet hook. Let me show you how. You start off with your loop knot and pull the string through the loop over and over again like this. So easy. This forms a chain and you don't have to use a hook. After my chains are done, I fold my long chain in half and lay my short chain under the folded loop. The loop will be our clasp. Now I tie a knot like this and pull each string to be sure it is tight. When the knot is tight, I cut the loose string off. If you are curious about how I got the look of my pink and white bracelet, I used pink crochet thread with the white cotton string and crocheted them together to give them a strawberries and cream kind of look. Now I put my clasp under the clamp to hold my project while I macrame. We start off with the two long strings on the outside and the short string in the middle. I always start my knots on the right side. I make a loop on the right side and bring that string under the center string. Then I bring it over top of the left string. I bring the left string up and through the right loop. Now I pull it tight. I do the same thing starting on the left side now. Bring the right string up and through the left loop. We continue this process until the whole bracelet is done. Now I tie a knot at the end of my bracelet like this. Then I cut the strings off. The last thing that I do to each one of my finished bracelets is to put a little bit of super glue in the middle of each knot to be sure that they don't come undone. Here is the strawberries and cream bracelet. The blue and white reminds me of the beach. And here is the purple and white bracelet. Now you're probably asking yourself, can I add beads to this bracelet? And the answer is yes! And I'm going to show you how I added beads to this bracelet. I found some wood beads that have a good size hole in them to use for this bracelet. I start out with three knots and then put a bead on the center string. I continue this pattern all the way to the end of my bracelet. Then I finish it off with a knot like the other bracelets. I love how the beaded bracelet turned out. I hope that this video inspires you to give these easy bracelets a try. I also hope that this gives you another great idea for Christmas gifts this year. In my last video, I gave you a great Christmas gift idea, and that is how to make one of these awesome funky chunky hats. 
and I made this on a loom. And if you want to know how to make one of these hats too, I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. I love hearing your comments and suggestions. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye! Where's your belly?